Hello everyone, I'm Reno Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure DHCP server role. For this demonstration, I will be installing DHCP server role on a domain controller. But if you would like to, you can install it on a separate server. So, I've got a domain controller and I've got a client computer. So if I just go to the client computer first and if I just check the IP address, As you see over here, the IP address assigned to this computer is 169.254.50.94, which is a default IP address. So I want the DHCP server role to be installed and I want this client computer to get the IP address from the DHCP server. Okay? And they are both on the same network. So to do that, let me just go to my domain controller in the server manager. If I go to manage on top and click on add roles and features, you click next, next, next again, and under roles, you select DHCP server. Click add features and then click next. Click next, next, and click on restart destination server automatically if required, and then click yes and then click install. As you see over here, the installation has completed. You can click on complete DHCP configuration to, to configure the DHCP server, or else you can just click on close, then go on top over here to the notifications, and then click on complete DHCP configuration. Over here, you're going to now authorize the DHCP server for the DHCP server to function, you need to authorize it. So if you just click next, over here specify the credential to be used to authorize the DHCP server in the Active Directory Directory services. And I'll just tick mark the administrator credential which, with which I have logged in at the moment. And I'll click commit and then click on close. Okay, so the DHCP server is now been uh, authorized. So then if you just go to tools, and then click on DHCP. In the DHCP console, you'll see your server on the left hand side. If you just expand it, you'll find IP version 4 and IP version 6. For this demonstration, I will be configuring IP version 4. So if I just expand it, you'll find server options, policies, and filters. Okay, so to create an uh, so for the DHCP server to assign the IP addresses, it needs a something called a scope. A scope is a range of IP addresses that we assign to the DHCP server so that the DHCP server then assigns it to the client computers. So to create a scope, if you just click on, uh, if you just right click on IP version 4 and then click on new scope, click next and then assign a name to that scope. then click next. Over here, you need to specify the range of the IP addresses you want the DHCP server to, to then assign to the client computers. So for me, my starting IP address is 192.168.1.1. My last IP address is 192.168.1.254. And then I click next. Over here, it's going to allow you to, if, you, if there are any IP addresses that you would like to exclude, you can put the range over here. So for me, I would like to exclude IP addresses from 192.168.1 to 1.50, so that I can then use those IP addresses for my servers and routers and stuff like that. So if I just mention that over here, 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.1, one dot fifty. So I want to exclude this range. You then click next. Over here, the lease duration. So when a DHCP server leases an IP address, after how many days or time or hours or minutes you want it to lease out again. So you can mention it over here. I'll leave that as default and I'll click next. Over here, 
Along with the IP address, if you would like the DHCP server to provide information to the client computers like the default gateway or the DNS servers, you can do it over here. So to configure that, just cl click yes and then click next. So the default gateway, that's the router. So for me, it's 192.168.1.21. I'll click add. I'll click next. Over here, you need to mention the DNS uh, server IP address. So I've got two. D I've got three DNS servers. So I'll just enter another DNS server IP address over here. Okay, and then I'll click add. Click next. Over here, if you want to enable wins and stuff like that, you. You can assign that IP address over here. I'll just click next. And then you can activate the scope, okay? If you don't want to activate it, if you would like to activate it later, then you can click on no. But I would like to activate the scope now, so I'll click next and click on finish. Once that's done, you can see the scope over here. Okay, you can expand it and that's your scope. So. As you see over here, you got a green tick mark. So, as long as you got a green tick mark, which means everything is good. Sometimes you will see some sort of a caution sign, like a blue, blue, white, some sort of caution sign. If you do have that, all you can do is expand the scope, deactivate the scope, and then reactivate the scope. It helps sometimes. But for now, it's working fine for me. It looks all good. So now let me just quickly go to the client computer and see if the DHCP will assign. Previously when we had used the command IP config, I had this IP address 169.254.50.94. So let me just run that command again, IP config. And now as you see over here, the DHCP server has assigned an IP address 192.168.1.51. The reason why it has started with 1.51 is because we have uh, excluded IP addresses from 1.1 to 1.50. As you see over here, it has also provided the information of a default gateway, that's 1.21. If you also run the command IP config space slash all, you can see that it has also assigned the IP addresses of your DNS server 192.168.1.2 or or and all of those okay sometimes you will still see the old IP address if you do have that the command that you can use is IP config slash release and then renew okay so if you run the command IP config slash uh, IP config space forward slash release and then IP config space forward slash renew. I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.